in free black Philadelphia, the elite community was not open. It was a very closed community. You had to be invited in. I mean, they, they spent all their time together. A lot of times elites would not even attend schools unless there were certain people of the same social class. That's why when you look at all of the schools that were available for what they call colored communities, you had either the Institute for Colored Youth or uh, Jacob C. White's Jr.'s Robert Vose School. Those were the only two that the elite communities would attend. Those were the ones that had tuitions. Those were the ones that had a very rigorous composition and Greek grammar and Latin classics. So they were not open. Emily had access to them now. And she had access two ways. One way that she had access is her uncle was Elijah J. Davis, and he signed the 1863 Call to Arms with Frederick Douglass. He was also a member of the Grand Order Union of Brotherhood Fellows, which is a very elite black men's club. He was part of the Banneker Institute with Jacob C. White, Jr. So her uncle was a part of that community. The second way was through her brother-in-law, Christian. He was a teacher at the Institute for Colored Youth with Octavius Cato. So she had access to the community, but many of the things she talked about were not part of the, the social elite. She complained about money constantly. She was always running out of money. She always felt someone was out to steal her money. In fact, she had money stolen, and she talked about it for days on end, $6.75, uh, roughly $125. But she's keeping all this money in her trunk. She also worked as a short-term living domestic and a typical home sewer.